So in front of us, we have two-fourths plus half. And we cannot add because four and the two, the denominators, they are different. We can only add if the denominators are the same. So we will have to find the least common multiple or LCM of two and four. So when we list the common multiples of two, we get two, four, six, eight, and 10, and we could go on and on. When we list the multiples of four, we get four, eight, 12, 16, and we could go on and on. But the least common multiple of two and four will be four. So now we will rewrite the fractions. So the first fraction, two, four, we're gonna take the bottom number and we're just gonna bring it down. 4. The top number, we're going to bring it down and make it a 2. So the 1 half, we cannot just bring it down. We have to get the 2, the denominator 2, we have to make it a 4. So we know that 2 times 2 will be 4. We write the 4 down here. Now, since we multiply the denominator by 2, we also have to multiply the numerator, the top number, by 2 as well. So 1 times 2 will be 2, and write it right up here. So now we got 2 fourths plus 2 fourths equals what? Well, the denominators, they stay the same, so we carry the 4 over here, write the little dividing line, and the top numbers, the numerators, 2 plus 2 equals 4. 4 fourths will be reduced to 1. We have 1 ninth plus 2 thirds plus 3 thirds. And once again, we have to make the denominators all the same. So when we look at three and three, we know that's a common multiple of nine. So we're gonna take the first, the one ninth, and we're gonna bring it down, bring down the nine, draw the little line. The three, we're gonna multiply it by three to make a nine. So once again, we bring the nine down here, draw the little line, and the three thirds, once again, the denominator, we multiply it by three to get a nine and draw the little line. So next, we're gonna multiply the numerators. Now the first set, one ninth, we did not multiply it by any number, so we just carry the one down here. The second set of numbers, two-thirds, since we multiply the bottom number by three, we're going to multiply the numerator, the top number by three as well. Two times three will be six. And the last set of numbers, three-thirds, since we multiply the denominator by three, we're going to multiply the numerator, the top number by three as well. Three times three will be nine. And now we add. We know the denominators, they stay the same, so carry the 9 over, write it up here. The top number, 1 plus 6, will be 7, plus 9 will be 16. So the answer is 16 over 9. However, 16 over 9 is considered an improper fraction. When the top number is bigger, that's improper, so we will have to fix that. And this is the easiest method, in my opinion, of how to go about doing it. First thing we do is the denominator, 9, will stay the same. So bring it over, draw 9. Now, how many times does 9 go into 16? The answer is 1. So we put 1 up here. And 16 minus 9 will be what? will be seven. So the answer is one and seven ninths. So in front of us, we got two sixths plus one fourth. 
And notice the denominators are different, so we cannot add this the way it is. We will have to find the least common multiple of 6 and 4. So let's list the common, not the common, just multiples of 6. And we know it's 6, 12, 18, 24, and we could go on and on. The multiples of 4 will be 4, 8, 12, 16, and we could go on and on. And as you look at the list, we see that 12 is the common, least common multiple of 6 and 4. So we will have to make the denominators the same, and both the 6 and the 4 will have to be a 12. So when we take the first 6, we need to multiply 6 by 2 to make a 12. The number 4, in order to make it a 12, we will have to multiply 4 by 3 to make it a 12. Uh, next thing we do is we multiply the numerators by the same number we multiply the denominators. So with 2, 6, since we multiply 6 by 2, we're going to multiply the top number by 2. 2 times 2 will be 4. We write it down here. And the 1 fourth, since we multiplied the denominator by 3, we're going to multiply the numerator by 3 as well. 1 times 3 will be 3. And finally, we add them up. So we know the denominators, they stay the same. So we just bring the 12 over, write it right here, uh, write the little dividing line. And the top numbers we can now add. 4 plus 3 will be 7. 7 twelfths. We do not have to reduce 7 twelfths.